you know our next guest from her memorable roles on House, Girlfriend's Guide to Divorce, and most recently, The Kaminsky Method. Now she's reuniting with a former co-star, and we can't wait to hear all about it. Please welcome Lisa Edelstein. Hey! Hi! Hi, Lisa! Hi. How are you? I'm great, thank welcome you. How are you guys doing? Everybody We're looks awesome. gorgeous. awesome. Thank, <laughs> thank you. Thank you. <laughs> this March marks 30 years since you got your SAG card as an actress in Oliver Stone's film, The Doors. But I actually yep. heard that you got yelled at on set. What exactly happened? Well, I was a little sassy with him at my audition, which I th guess he liked. So he gave me a very small part in his movie so I could get my SAG card. And um, that part got written out. And so he put me in another scene and then that got written out. And then they finally put me in this other scene. I needed to have a line of dialogue. So he said, just make one up. Yeah. So I made up a line of dialogue and I realized I'd made myself a really short line. So every time we did a take, I made my line longer because why wouldn't I? <laughs> and then I got yelled at. Right. <laughs> that is hysterical. It's a great yeah. story, you know. You know, this has been, this pandemic has been very interesting to say the least. And your youngest stepson had a pandemic bar mitzvah. What was that like? <laughs> <laughs> you know, just because he's kind of a shy guy, I think it was the perfect bar mitzvah for him. He wrote a really beautiful speech. You give this speech uh, about whatever the Torah portion is that week, and his was about, like, arriving in the land of milk and honey and all the rules and regulations. And he did a whole speech about Brian Stevenson. Like, he turned the whole thing into this incredible lesson on mercy, um, which I thought was really amazing. And he was so confident. And just having a Zoom audience rather than a live audience, I think gave him the opportunity to be really, um, really confident and be a great teacher. So I was just super proud of him. We made these masks so that we could have a few extra people in the house. And I did, I made masks of the lower half of his face. So we all wore the lower oh, half of his face. Oh, that's really I clever. I love that. Lisa, I have to ask you, your husband, Robert, is a very talented artist. So who gets to pick out the artwork in your house? Oh, Great question. Him. He made me take down almost all the artwork that I had when I first Did he? <laughs> Recently, oh I was not put a few Recently, I was allowed to put a few pieces back up, but only in my office. But it's just because That's he has, he's very well educated in the world of art, and I was just picking things right. that I thought were cool looking. But um, but Pretty. some of them have made it back. Some of them have made it oh, back. Oh, that's good. Time. That uh -huh. is good to hear. And speaking of your husband, though, how did you guys meet? We met at the Hammer Museum in Los Angeles. I was there because... I had met this woman at a party and we were talking about art and I was like, oh, I'm going to go out to see shows with this woman. That's so cool. I met a cool new woman. And when I went to this one gallery with her, I realized that she was trying to get me to buy something and that she was going to get a percentage of this sale. Mission. And I uh, learned later that that's a job that people have. I just didn't know that. So I thought I'd made a friend and she thought she'd met a client. So I was mad. So she had invited me to come see this piece of art hanging in the Hammer Museum. And I was going to go there and tell her how mad I was about, you know, that lack of communication. And um, instead, we were standing in front of the painting and I was put trying to put my words together. And Robert came over and introduced himself, and that was uh, the beginning of the rest of my oh, life. <laughs> so she ended like up. That's like a movie. That. That's like a movie. Yeah. That needs to be <laughs> a, a movie. movie. I know. That's it's very so sweet, and very romantic. It's even more romantic yeah. than that because I was like, the only way I'm going to have a successful relationship, and I'm fine without one, is that he's going to have to be an artist. He's going to have to live in my neighborhood because traffic is really bad and not driving anywhere. He's going to have to already have kids because I'm not going to birth any babies. He's going to have to love my house because my house is really amazing, and he's going to have to live here. He's going to have to be smart and funny and and hopefully Jewish, because this is easier, especially where kids are involved, if you're the same culture. Uh -huh. And I'm like, I mean, I have like a really long list, not of demands, but of just like, this is what it's going to take. I just know this is what's going to take. And you manifested within... him. There's no mistake. Yeah, and then, and he was going to have to ask me out on a really specific date, because I was on House at the time. It was a huge show, and men were just terrified and wishy-washy. And I was irritated by the wishy-washiness because I'm a strong woman right. and if you're wishy-washy, it's not gonna work. So anyway, he was like, I, I I looked at his artwork, which was beautiful. And I said, where's your studio? And he said, in Silver Lake. I said, well, I live in Silver Lake. And he said, good, let's go for a walk tomorrow. And that was it. That was Ooh, wow. what? Love it. I'm go for it. Seek our sale, there's hope. 
There's hope for you. <laughs> go. That's amazing. It yes, there is hope, Lonnie. Right there is hope. Thank you, Lisa, <laughs> now, for that. Lisa, That's you are awesome. also joining the cast of 911 Lone Star, playing the ex-wife to Rob Lowe's character. Now, you and Rob actually worked, haven't worked together since you played his call girl on West Wing. So what was it like reuniting Ooh. with him? Well, I wasn't his call girl. He did not know he was sleeping with a hooker. He just thought he met a nice gal. So, um, oh, but okay. I, I was it. a sex worker. I was a sex worker. <laughs> Um, uh, it's been great. It's been so much fun uh, working with Rob again. They have written me a really fun part. That's me and Rob. We, we really do have a good time on set. And, and of course, like my first day back with him, I was in pasties in bed with him because the only way to shoot oh. a love scene right now is to really quarantine before you do it. And so that's what we did. We, that was the first thing we shot when we started this season and we both quarantined for a couple of weeks and tested so that we could, uh, so yeah, it was a it was a very interesting reunion when all you're wearing is is like wow. body makeup and oh. two little pieces of tape. I Thank know you. that well. <laughs> wow. I love it. Well, on that note, let's check out a clip from 911 Low Star. Do you mind? I was on with clients in Osaka. TK, will you tell your mother that I can put up with a lot, but I will not stand for someone stealing my last line of defense beauty products. No. I'm not gonna do that. And would you kindly remind your father that he stole my beauty products for all 10 years of our marriage? And this is no way to treat a guest. I'm not gonna do that either. A guest? Ah, a guest stops being a guest after a month or four. From there on out, you are a squatter. Oh, Dad, why? Oh my God! You and Rob Lowe's right? character rekindle a secret romance. What else can you tell us about the show? You know, uh, very nice people, very funny. And I have to say, like, it doesn't really get old when Rob Lowe says romantic things to you. It's like, I grew up looking at Rob Lowe in Teen Beat Magazine. Um, right, so right. Yeah. I can't help but crack up every time he has to do something romantic with me. <laughs> Probably ruins the moment a little bit. That. Not me. Great. You went there with Teen Beat. Oh my God, oh, yeah. took us there. Well, he has a picture. I love he it. has a picture from when he was a teenager hanging on the wall of him doing this skateboarding move, and I was like, "Is that Teen Beat?" He's like, "Yeah." <laughs> yeah, he was imitating Farrah yes, Fawcett when she did her skateboard picture. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> that's, right. that's right. I love that's my fun. I can like, just listen. In my job, you know, you keep, you have these reunions or ha you you work with people. They become your, your co-workers who you, you watched growing up and it, it's meaningful. It's yeah. just always really yeah. meaningful when it happens. It is. Sure. You have so many great stories, Lisa. Thank you so much for coming and sharing them with us. Oh my God. <laughs> Season two of 911 Lone Star premieres next Monday, January 18th on 9, 8 Central on Fox. And you can catch Lisa in the new film, Dr. Bird's Advice for Sad Poets, available now everywhere on demand.